Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want us to reflect on the 34th Sunday Ordinary Time, which is the Solemnity of Christ the King. And this also is the conclusion, the end of the liturgical calendar cycle B. We are going to start by first Sunday of Advent, next Sunday, the cycle C of the liturgical calendar. From the readings that we have, first reading is the vision in Prophet Daniel about the Son of Man who is seated on the throne. The vision of the kingship of Jesus Christ is a prophecy. That the second reading, Jesus Christ, He Himself now, who has died for humanity, who has put everything under His feet, who has subdued the powers of darkness, now is also seated on the throne, the Alpha and the Omega. Everything, everything under His feet. The Lordship and the Kingship of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we go to the Gospel, this is how the drama of salvation took place in the Passion narrative. Pilate asked him, Are you king? And Jesus, to my kingdom is not here. If my kingdom were here, okay. uh, my subjects would have been battling and waging war against uh, the powers that are against me now. Pilate said, are you king? So you are a king. Jesus said, you say, I am king. For this reason that I am born, so that I testify to the truth, and everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. You and I must let Jesus Christ reign as king in our lives. Reign as king in all areas of our existence. Must truly reign in our world today and every day. Must reign in every aspect of human existence. Jesus Christ is king. And so for this Sunday, I want you and I to pay attention to these words of Jesus saying, My kingdom is not here. What does he mean by this statement? Not here, not here, meaning Jesus Christ is not king in the kingdom of sin. What was happening during that time? There was the denial of Jesus. There was the rejection of Jesus. There is people plotting against him. Everything is in sin and the world is in sin. Sin is separation from God. So that is not the kingdom of God. Sin is darkness. God is kingdom of light. Sin is opposed to God. Therefore, it is true. My kingdom is not here. It is not only about, yes, the reality of a tangible reality. My kingdom is not here. Yes, it was not there. But the moral and spiritual realm, it is not here in that context of sin. But that's why it has to change because on the cross, he will reign as king. His life is sacrificed so that sin be wiped away. His blood is poured so that the powers of hell and the powers of darkness will be vanquished and the power of God's grace and divine life will shine just as Jesus gave his life. So now all of humanity in sin, receiving the life of God, will now live in newness of life, the life of grace, the life in union with God, the life divine. Let Jesus reign. That is why for this Sunday and for every day of our existence, we thank the Lord God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you for coming to us and accompanying us throughout the entire liturgical year of cycle B. 
Now, you once again accompany us through to the next cycle and the next year of our Christian journey in the cycle C. Let us therefore put two concrete ways into our lives in His kingship. First and foremost, awareness of His kingship every moment of our life. Our life is not about us. It is about Jesus. The specifications about how we are to live the teachings of Jesus Christ to be translated into our lives. Therefore, it is not about me, but about Jesus. In this Sunday, let us make an act of faith, an act of trust, an act of love. Lord Jesus, reign in my life. Lord Jesus, be king when I make decisions. Let my decisions be coherent to your teachings. Be aware of God's kingship in our life. Second concrete thing I want us to pay attention is that Jesus mentioned it at the end of the gospel. Anyone who belongs to the truth listens to my words, listens to my voice. Every day of our existence, as Jesus reigns, the King pronounces and calls us. May we live by His teachings all the time. In our time, there are many voices that comes into our mind, into our ears. We listen only to one voice, Jesus Christ. Listen to the voice of the King. Put into practice God's will, in as much as Jesus followed the will of the Father, we imitate Him with glory and honor and worship and adoration of Jesus Christ the King. Thank you for the whole year, uh, liturgical year. I offer and consecrate to you, O Lord Jesus, my King, our King, the other, the next year of our journey of faith. May we be able to live each day pleasing always to you, giving you due honor and glory. We serve you in the way you want to be served, not in the way I want to serve. You are the king. We want to love you in the way you want to be loved, not in the way I want to love. You are the king. I want to believe in you in the way you want to be believed. Not in the way I want to believe, because you are the king. And let that not be compromised in you and I, my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have not done so, and share this video to others.